so in today's class we will discuss modulation as you can see modulation is a fundamental requisite of communication systems it is defined as the process by which some characteristics of a signal called carrier is varied in accordance with instantaneous value of another signal called modulating signal so all these terms the carrier the modulating signal that i am going to discuss as i will proceed further so now look at this diagram if we need to speak this is a basic diagram to sh explain how the modulator how the modulation works so as you can see it it is a microphone so if we want to speak on the microphone so what the output we get we get a louder voice right but what is the circuitry behind that so if we speak on the microphone then our voice signal will be converted into the electric signal and then they will be going through the modulator right so modulate modulator means it mix the signal mix means what what will happen actually our voice is low we have a low frequency signal right so modulator will mix our signal with the high frequency signal so that it is boosted up and it gets louder right and then it will go to the amplifier and then to the transmitting antenna right now at the receiving side after the transmitting the signal it will go to the receiving antenna receiver will the receiver will accept that signal but now what is the what is the function of demodulator it will demix demix means whatever whatever we have mixed at the modulator side it will just extract that thing and it will extract our original signal and then it will send to the amplifier and then to the loudspeaker so this is the way the basically the transmitting and the receiving antenna works so this is a basic thing how the modulation works we will discuss all the modulator techniques the modulator techniques all everything as we proceed further now before going this there are some types of modulation we are going to study in this module so this is analog modulation and digital modulation so analog modulation means the signal is basically continuous in nature continuous in nature and digital means the signal is in the form of pulses right continuous means like our voice signal like we can say the sine and the cosine wave right so analog modulation are of three types amplitude angle and pulse analog modulation these are of three types and angle modulation is frequency modulation and phase modulation so basically in amplitude modulation what happens amplitude of the carrier is varied in angle modulation basically the frequency varied and in phase modulation the phase varied we will discuss frequency and phase modulation as we go further and pulse analog modulation means the carrier the carrier is in the form of pulses and the message in the form of analog signal right and then message pulse analog modulation is further of pam pwm and ppm pam is pulse amplitude modulation i can write here pulse amplitude modulation pwm is pulse width modulation and ppm is pulse position modulation so these are the types of the analog modulation now there is another type digital modulation so in digital modulation carrier message signal is in the form of pulses that means message signal is digital not the analog type not the continuous type these are four types pcm dpcm dm and adm pcm is pulse code modulation differential pcm delta modulation and adaptive delta modulation now next comes what is amplitude modulation a modulation process in which 
एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ द कैरियर इज वेरीड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एम्पलीट्यूड सो इफ वी आर स्पीकिंग अबाउट फ्रिक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन देन इट विल बी फ्रिक्वेंसी हेयर एंड इफ वी स्पीक अबाउट द फेस देन इट विल बी फेस हेयर सो एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेशन इज अ प्रोसेस इन विच एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ द कैरियर इज वेरीड इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द इंस्टेंटेनियस वैल्यू ऑफ द मॉड्यूलेटिंग सिग्नल इज नोन एज एम्पलीट्यूड मॉड्यूलेशन लेट एस एक्सप्लेन दिस डेफिनेशन विद द डाइग्राम और द वेव फॉर्म्स सो देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सिग्नल द फर्स्ट इज मॉड्यूलेटिंग सिग्नल द अनादर इज कैरियर सिग्नल एंड द थर्ड वन इज मॉड्यूलेटेड सिग्नल राइट सो मॉड्यूलेटिंग सिग्नल इज आवर इंफॉर्मेशन सिग्नल दैट वॉट इंफॉर्मेशन वी आर सेंडिंग सो दिस इज आवर मॉड्यूलेटिंग सिग्नल सो लेट्स सी द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट कर मॉड्यूलेटिंग सिग्नल द एक्स एक्सेस विल बी टाइम एंड द वाई एक्सेस विल बी वी एम सो हेयर आई डिनोटेड वी एम विद द स्मॉल वी दिस इज स्मॉल वी एंड दिस इज हेयर दिस इज कैपिटल वी हेयर राइट सो स्मॉल वी एम इज बेसिकली द मॉड्यूलेटिंग सिग्नल सो इफ आई नीड टू से मॉड्यूलेटिंग सिग्नल आई विल से स्मॉल वी एम ओके एंड इफ आई नीड टू डिनोट द एम्पलीट्यूड देन इट विल बी आ एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ मॉड्यूलेटिंग सिग्नल विल बी डिनोटेड बाय कैपिटल वी एम हेयर ओके so as i told you modulating signal the the amplitude the analog modulation that means the continuous in nature so my so my this wave form will be continuous in nature that is the sine wave so i have shown this wave form here this is my information signal it can be any signal right and the peak of this signal is vm okay now because this signal has a very low strength or you can say a very low frequency right but we need to send this signal to very far distance so what will happen we will take a carrier wave to explain this i want to give an example of a stone i want to give an example of a stone and a paper suppose there is a paper and what happens i want to throw this paper to a very far distance so what i will do i will take that paper crush that paper and i will throw it suppose i just threw that paper to 1 meter distance right now i want to send to the 5 meter what will happen paper is my information signal right this is my information signal now what will happen A stone is my carrier so what i will do what i will do i will i will wrap the stone in the paper and now i will throw so obviously a stone is the carrier is the high frequency signal and paper is the low frequency signal so they will mix together and they will go to a far distance that means we modulated the signal right so here it is the same case this is my information signal or the modulating signal the frequency is very low now we need to mix this signal to the carrier signal carrier signal is high in frequency high frequency you can see that it is very high in frequency it is covering so many cycles in one second right so here if we denote the carrier signal so we denote with the small vc this is the carrier signal and this is the amplitude amplitude of the carrier signal is denoted by capital vc right now so two signals are done modulating signal and the carrier signal now the third one is how we will draw the modulated signal this is our modulated signal so it is very simple if we need to draw the modulated signal first we will draw the envelope okay let us let us explain it on here okay so suppose this is my message signal right like in this way in this way this is my message signal so what i will do i will draw a envelope 
Envelope means the carrier signal. This is my message signal here. Okay. This is my positive side. So I can say USB upper side band. And this is my negative side. So I can say this is my LSP. Right. So this this I have drawn is the envelope. So this will be drawn on the positive and on the negative side. Right. Now what happens what happens is this height this height is the vc that means our signal is modulated to vc because the carrier was there because the carrier signal the message signal was superimposed on the on the carrier signal so this is the height of our carrier signal and this this is the height of our message signal vm right so this is our height here and the total height will be denoted by a which will be equal to vc plus vm so now in between i can show this is my carrier signal this is all my carrier signal right like this so what hap so what happens is we can see the amplitude of carrier signal is varied the amplitude of carrier signal is varied in accordance with the message signal right so this was my definition go back to the definition now okay yes amplitude modulation definition yes now in which Amplitude of the carrier is varied in accordance with the instantaneous value of the modulating signal. So that's now that's how we define the definition of the amplitude modulation. I have explained this here modulated signal. Now, what are my observations? Obviously, the first observation is FC is greater than FM. Okay, because the carrier frequency is always higher than the modulating frequency. And the second observation is amplitude of carrier frequency is changed in proportion to instantaneous amplitude of modulating signal. Right. So these are the two observations from the above waveforms. Now these are further classified if we talk about the frequency spectrum. Right. If we need to draw the frequency spectrum of a amplitude modulated wave, then these are of four types: DSB SC, SSB SC, VSB, and DSB FC. So DSB SC is double sideband suppressed carrier. SSB SC is single sideband suppressed carrier. V VSB is vestigial sideband, and DSB FC is double sideband full carrier. Okay. Now, if we talk about the frequency spectrum, so obviously it is shown by this and this is the frequency on the y axis here. I am showing the frequency. So this is my FC, the carrier frequency FC. This is my upper side band on the right hand side and lower side band on the left hand side. So upper side band, the frequency is adding up FC plus FM and lower side band FC minus FM. So this will when we will do the mathematical analysis when we will do the mathematical analysis it will be more clear to you okay we will do it in the next lecture now the types dsb fc that means both lsb and usb are present and carrier also so all the three components must be present so this is be, this is double sideband full carrier okay now dsb sc that means suppressed carrier that means carrier is suppressed so fc there is no fc only the lsb and the usb are present ssb sc single side side band suppressed carrier that means carrier is suppressed carrier is suppressed and single side band so lsb is suppressed only usb is present VSB means where vestige of one sideband, that means a trace of one sideband and all of the other sidebands are present, right? So these, these are all the different uh, classifications of the frequency spectrum. Now, now the mathematical analysis. 
so we will do the mathematical analysis in the next lecture but in this i can just explain you how we express the sine wave right sine wave carrier signal so as i explained you vc is small vc equals to capital vc sine omega c t this is the way how we express the carrier signal and how we express the modulating signal it is vm equals to vm sine omega mt okay and you all know vc is the instantaneous value of the carrier sine wave capital vc is the amplitude or peak value of unmodulated carrier sine wave omega c equals to 2 pi fc and fc equals to carrier frequency same with the modulating signal everything is same except this m so by in place of c we will put the m so this is my modulating signal so this is all about the today's lecture of amplitude modulation thank you so much